Hey, what's going on there? Leo here. Uh, today I want to talk to you about when to use social media for professional or business use. Or when is better to use, you know, when to, when is better to use it for business use or personal use. Or if you, for example, have are tired of not getting any results on social media, is it perhaps because you're approaching the personal uh, use instead as, as opposed to using it for business mode? Um, so more on that to come. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Leo. I uh, have a digital marketing agency called Digital Track. Uh, I do work a lot with uh, restaurants in my area, but my goal is to help small restaurants or business owners in the Sonoma County area to help them reach, reach more local customers using uh, the online marketing strategies. So <clears throat> most people are familiar with social media, right? There's millions and millions of users just on Facebook alone. Um, but a lot of times, uh, the use that is given to social media is more to um, feel things that we like or that we feel like sharing. But perhaps from a business perspective, we might need to do things. Uh, we might need to think differently and um, and come up with a different approach. It, right now, in Manta, I, you know, if, um, the 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 the, the the blog where I got this content, it, it provided a, a six things to consider, but I'm just gonna quickly go through that um, and see if it's something that perhaps can help you. And I'm gonna add my some of my uh, own opinion to it. So it says over here, pick your social media platform based on your customers, know what you like. So very important, right, to, to understand that. It, 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 what is, where are your, where are your customers? Where where do they like to hang out, right? Obviously, as a business owner, we want to be where our customers are um, because obviously that's their area where they're going to feel more comfortable. Uh, we don't really want to push into whatever they don't feel comfortable because then it, cre it creates a wall, um, that um, a barrier, right, where they're not actually going to open up to us and share. Um, so that's one thing you can, you can do, obviously, other things you can do is observe what other people in your industry, other businesses in your industry are doing, right? If you don't know where your customers are, observe what other um, businesses in your industry are doing, what platforms they're using, and how they're using it, why, what is, what, what are the things they're doing that are working for them. It says over here, have a plan and goals. Obviously, that's very straightforward, right? Just Don't just post to uh, post just because you feel like posting. Uh, stay engaged with customers. Interact with your audience. Uh, in reference to these two, stay engaged with your customer, interact with your audience. I can't believe the number of times where I see local business owners uh, not to engage with their audience, right? Um, people will leave comments saying, thank you. How great was the service? How great was the food? And, and nothing, just cricket, right? And so think about this as a business owner. I'm not saying you do it, but think about this. If you come up to a uh, restaurant and you sit down, you enjoy it, you have a great meal, right? You enjoy some great time with your family, and then you see the business owners, or you see the staff, and then you um, you comment, right? You feel great about the experience. So you want to share. You want to let them know, hey, you, I had a great experience. The meal was good. The chicken was this way that I like it so much. I love it. it makes me remind me to um, my grandma, right? The cooking of my grandma. Um, and then you crickets, right? You don't hear nobody. No, I thank you. No, I come back next time. Uh, no, nobody acknowledged you for what you just said. How would that make you feel? And I see that happen a lot with uh, local businesses. And I understand, right? They're busy. They don't understand technology. Um, they don't want to deal with technology. But would it be worth it to invest in having somebody to um, uh, to manage that side, right, of the business, the online side of the online world? Because no matter what, that that piece, either you want it or not, that piece of the of the uh, that's a part of doing business nowadays, right? It's not just the offline work, but the online work. So don't just post makes don't just don't just post things to make sales, right? Educate, uh, provide value to your audience. Uh, show the customers that you understand what they need. Uh, show them how you can help them. Uh, schedule posts to reach your audience when they are online. I don't know about this one, right? Uh, with algorithm changes all the time. Um, I don't know what <clears throat> what that could be a good a time to post when they're online. Analyze you post, but I guess what it's saying, right? If you're gonna be posting something, obviously do it during the day when they're active, as opposed to do it when at night, <clears throat> at night when they're sleeping. Good night, you gonna take a shower? Yeah, go take a shower. 
uh, apologies there, the kids are uh, in school and they need to go take a shower. Um, so which social media platforms are right for you? So obviously a lot of people are on Facebook nowadays, there's all kinds of business on Facebook. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is that Facebook doesn't have a great organic reach if you are a business, if you're using a business page. If you're using your personal profile, still, right, it doesn't have a great organic reach. It has much better reach than the personal, right, depending on what strategy you use. And just keep that in mind. If with a business page, you have to pay to play. With a personal, you may have a much better success. But at some point, you may grow out of it, right, uh, especially because you only... Uh, can do 5,000 people and it doesn't allow you to do some things, some other strategies um, like retargeting, uh, paying for advertising, etc. So, um, but it's, it's obviously a platform where it's 2 billion plus users, so definitely it's a good one to be no matter what kind of business you are. Uh, Instagram is a visual network, right? Very popular for things that are visual, uh, high quality videos, little videos, uh, high quality uh, photos. Um, I use it a lot with the restaurants that I work with. Um, this is a lot. Salons, I see them using that a lot. Nail salons, I see them using that a lot. Barbers, right? Um, uh, businesses that has to do with food, see the catering, etc. Um, Twitter, don't use them a lot. I see them used by a lot of um, uh, media outlets, sport agencies. Obviously, President of the US use it a lot. Whatever you think about it, he definitely use it to his advantage. It definitely knows how to use the uh, the platform. I don't know about Pinterest. I don't know about Snapchat. Pinterest, real quick, it says that it's very popular for businesses that have to do with food, exercise, beauty, etc. I don't use it, so I'm not going to comment on that. YouTube, I do use it a lot. Obviously, it's a platform that I like to use to provide, um, uh, to um, educate, right, my audience. Um, so, depending on your industry, again, you know, see how you want to use it. Are you in the entertainment industry? Are you entertaining yourself, right? Um, um, do you like to teach, right? Um, that platform is really great for different things. Uh, LinkedIn, obviously, is just great for professionals. If you want to connect with professionals, um, and if you want to connect with people based on the titles and locations, this is the platform to go to if you just want to, because obviously a lot of the people that are in there have their title in it. <clears throat> so how can you use your social media wisely? Social media can be a great tool for your business. However, don't just jump in it without having a good plan and goals. That might work for you personally, but successful businesses use their time and resources sensibly to work smarter, not harder. So that's all for today, folks. If you like this video, go ahead and like, share it. Um, if you're watching this on, on YouTube, go ahead and hit the bell to subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos. Um, I got nothing for you today. Just basically, if you want to learn further about this or would like to um, get in the one situation, especially if you are in Solano County, would like to increase your local reach. Uh, with online advertising, let me know. You can visit my website, digitaltrack.co, and there's a contact page in there uh, to schedule a call, and you can see different ways to get a hold of me or contact a call or schedule a call. All right, have a good one.